Oh man, you strong, huh? This is the Cinequeen. Yes, I know that's a hilarious name, but this thing performs awesome, just awesome <laughs> for what it is. Now this is a three inch Cine Whoop style-ish quad. And what's really special to me about this quad are the prop guards on this thing. And when I saw these prop guards, uh, with the, the little glitter inside of them, I immediately contacted GepRC because I absolutely wanted to use these prop guards for my own products. Unfortunately, they are a 9x9 nine nine mount guard, so it's really frustrating that you can't use them with 12x12 12 12 mount, 15 whatever, or 14 whatever motors, so you're stuck with these 12 size motors and what's really special about these prop guards is that they are really light and they are very thin and they don't obstruct a whole lot of the motors function they still do but not anything like those massive ducts that you see on so many three inch cine whoops as a result this thing performs phenomenally well just fantastic now nothing like an open prop quad those will still perform better but this thing for a cinewhoop style quad with no gopro on board it you pretty much almost can't tell the difference between this and another somewhat lower powered three inch quad which is fantastic and i, I cannot stress how well this thing actually performs i'm so thrilled by it because my theory or my understanding of how the prop guards work and everything seem to be verified by this quad and I'm still going to be working on these guards and trying to figure out a way to use them for my own product because I have a lot of plans for a Cinewhoop style quad. But getting back to this, I totally skipped the onboard HD camera, forget about that, I don't care about that at all. The HD video from that is nowhere near as good as a GoPro and this thing has the power to carry a GoPro in cinema style flying. Now what you're going to see me fly or what you're watching me fly is with this GoPro and this 4S 850 milliamp on battery on board. But note that when I do dives or rolls or something crazy, the quad can't quite manage the weight of the quad and it does have quite a bit of washout. It is a little bit scary to come out of dives with the GoPro on board. Without the GoPro, you get almost no washout. You get really great control, really great performance overall. But like I said, the HD camera that's on board is pretty much pointless to me because this thing can carry a GoPro no problem. If you take off the HD whatever and replace it with just a regular FPV setup, I'm pretty sure you could put throw a Hero 8 on here and it's going to perform just fine as a Cine Whoop style quad. And as you see me flying through brush and shrubs and whatever, I did get hung up on one branch that literally scooped the, the rim out of the sky. But other than that, it seems to perform exactly like the quads with the full-blown ducts or full-blown guards around all the props and everything. And uh, it can pretty much rummage through trees and branches and whatever you push through it. And so that's fantastic as well. So the, the idea of these prop guards, the whole point of the guards are to make it safe looking because in reality, you could still hurt someone with any quad that has guards on it. So it just kind of needs to look safer and it is a little bit safer as well. And I think that guards like this are probably enough to make it look safe enough to fly around in scenarios where there will be people around. Also, this thing isn't going to be going fast and you just got to be quick on the disarm and you're probably not going to get anybody's hair or any issues of any sort with anything. Uh, the guards work perfectly fine bumping into stuff and that's the other reason why you want prop guards is the kind of safety of being able to just brush up against things and bump into things and not fall out of the sky 
However, like any other quad that has guards on it, these guards are not indestructible. They're not intended to protect the quad from hits and crashes. They are really just intended for bumping up against things and brushing up against stuff and making it seem more friendly. <laughs> so yeah, this thing is great. It performs great. I really, really recommend it without the HD camera, without the, the, the run cam, whatever, on board, because it's just not that great. However, the FPV view of this run cam is actually nice. This is one I've received that is working. The previous one I got was not working very well. And the rest of the quad is built really nicely as well. It's using the Gep RC 20 by 20 stack on there, and it has at least a 200 milliwatt BTX in there. The frame is a unibody frame, which I'm not a fan of, but in this case, I'm really trying to keep the weight down. You probably will break an arm at some point. I don't know how much the frame is going to be. But that being said, I am going to use these prop guards to make my own product because these this performs so phenomenally well that it's i mean I'm, my mind is set at this point i need a guard like this to work with 12 by 12 mount motors so that i could run 1506 motors or 150 whatever motors for a three inch cinewhoop to carry a gopro with a really nice hefty 1300 milliamp battery because on this 850 and these 1206 motors i'm getting five minutes of flight time with the gopro on board with the, a larger motor and a 1300 milliamp 4s battery you're gonna get like seven eight minutes with a gopro and that's that's just that's just fantastic and i am very excited about this because i've been working really hard in this particular direction i haven't had a lot of time to work on a lot of things there's so much stuff going on but i am so thrilled to have this in my hands and test it and i thank GepRC so much for their work oh i forgot to mention they do a number of things about uh, GepRC, there's got to be somebody at GepRC that actually knows what they're doing because they do things that make so much sense, it's so appreciated. Things like they flip the HD camera and the FPV camera on the, on the run cam. So they actually flip the camera over and then in the firmware they already have set it to put the FPV camera on top and flip all the image so that it records with the HD camera on the bottom so you get a nice, well, at least the lowest possible view you can get from your HD footage and that's something that I've been working on which I haven't shown anybody so I really really appreciate that they also come this thing also comes with a little dongle that plugs into the USB port because you can't quite reach it with a USB wire I just didn't bring it out here to show you the all-up weight as you see here is 335 grams it's a little bit too much for these little tiny motors the props perform fine there are many other three inch props that you can choose uh, the tri-blade definitely, is definitely what you want. Without the GoPro on board, like I said, it performs just so fantastically well. With the GoPro, it performs totally fine. I'm really thrilled about this thing. If you want a Cinewhoop of any kind, this is the only one I will recommend from this point going forward until something else comes out that's better. There, there's really nothing else that can perform this well. I'm, I'm like so fully, fully on board with this quad because of the way it performs. It's, is it perfect? No, absolutely not. It definitely has some places it could improve, but hey, it's great, great effort by GepRC. Thanks so much for sending this to me. It was a very useful, very useful tester quad for some of the things that I'm working on. Uh, take care, floss your teeth, lots more things coming, I promise, bye.